Hello, this is Paul from First Attack. This video let's prove theorem 4.3.1, which uh, says the spinning set is the smallest subspace okay, of a vector space, general vector space. And you see, S is a ample, is a non empty set of vectors in uh, general vector space V. So has the vector uh, W1, W2, WR. And then the first part says, W uh, all the possible linear combinations of the vectors in S, all the linear combinations of S, which we call spanning set. Okay, W is the spanning set of S. Uh, a set W is a, a subspace, and the B. Okay, so let me highlight. So W is subspace. So B say the subspace is the smallest. Smallest means if I give any uh, subspace uh, contain all the vectors in S, and then so W should be inside that subspace. Therefore, W is the smallest we call as a proof. Uh, as a proof, the first. A set W is a uh, subspace. Okay, W is a uh, subspace of V. Okay. Uh, you know what is it? What is a W? W is the span of S. Okay. Uh, S included the vectors. So let's see. Uh, w one, W two, to W R. Or you can say it's like this. It is been of all uh, the vectors W1 is a vector W2 to WR. Okay, so this is the span. Span means the linear combination or the linear combination. So why W is a subspace of uh, V? Uh, first, we know. Okay. First, we know W should belong to V. No problem, right? Because all the vector S in S belongs to V. Um, therefore, W is a subset. The subset we have to use the subspace, and then we is W a subspace or not? We use the subspace test. Subspace test, which is a theorem uh, 4.2.1. Okay, you check. <clears throat> then we need to verify two. Okay, so two cases. The first to verify Ekerson number one, uh, which is says top view is a closed. And uh, addition. Okay, see. Uh, it's closed down the addition or not. We have to pick a two vector, right? So let's pick uh, U is a vector and the V as a vector belongs to W. And we need to see what? We need to see the sum of the U and the V also belongs to W. Okay, so therefore W is closer than the addition. Uh, let's see why. It is true because um, we can set up, okay, so let me see. You should be a linear combination of S, right? Uh, let me simply say U is a linear combination. Um, let's say K1, W1. K two W two plus or K R W R. Okay, so U is a linear combination and also V the same. It's a, another linear combination. So how do you say? Um, I pick a K. I pick a K one prime. The different coefficient. Okay, K two prime. This is not a derivative, okay, just another coefficient. 
and then so that's a KR from okay so that linear combinations right so now look at the sum so it is therefore I get the sum of u plus v uh, easy okay two linear combination added together should be another linear combination we add this together see uh, we can combine like a term so w1 put it together w2 put together and they all put together so which is the first coefficient is k1 plus k1 prime w1 okay the second k2 plus k2 prime w2 the last is kr plus kr prime wr what does this mean means the sum is the linear combination okay so the linear combination means okay, this belongs to w so belongs to w because the sum is a linear combination of s therefore belongs to w so that's good right okay so the first step this is true the second verify w is closer than the scalar multiplication okay now verify x number six uh, which is says w is closed and uh, scalar multiplication okay let me simplify why okay so the same uh we already have a u i would not write so u belongs to w okay oh let me put given u belongs user vector belongs to w okay so therefore u should be a linear combination it's k1 w1 k2 w2 and it goes on k r w r right Okay, and then we we'll look at it, uh, the scalar multiplication of k times u. Uh, that's easy, should it be k times k1. And put a parenthesis, w1. And then k times k2, w2. Plus k times kr, wr. Can you see? So the scalar multiplication of u is here, uh, linear combination. A linear combination therefore belongs to w okay so uh, w is closed under scalar multiplication right so this is also true okay so therefore w is a subspace that good okay so w is a subspace of v so we prove a then for b it's the smallest so how do you say the smallest Um, B says W, the spin, right, of S is the smallest subspace, of course, of the B. Mm. Why is the smallest? Okay. If I give you any other subspace that contains S, uh, contains s of course is the contains s smallest subspace uh, contains s s is this s is w1 w2 to wr oops means this pen is the smallest subspace contains all the vectors in uh, uh, the vector space S. If I give you any other subspace contains these vectors, we have to prove W should be inside is a subset of that subspace, right? Okay, we follow this way. Uh, let me give any subspace of uh, V uh, contains and s okay and then I look at it so these are 
subspace uh, let me put any uh, that's uh, say mm, W let's say W prime is that okay W prime okay so therefore <clears throat> uh, contains S oh, let me put it a little so therefore S equals all the W, right? Contains S means uh, this uh, inside uh, uh, W prime. W prime is a subspace mm. of uh, V, of course. But look at it here, yes, the subspace is important. And this is the subspace uh, contains some vector. The subspace means uh, all the actions I follow, right? Or we simply say the action number one, the number six, I follow. So uh, addition and the scalar multiplication should be closed. Okay. So, uh, therefore, any linear combination should be inside W. Is that okay? Because a linear combination of vectors is just uh, two operations. Linear combination is scalar multiplication first and then addition second. Therefore, scalar multiplication close and uh, addition also close. So any linear combination should be so they are inside of the W prime. So let me simply say, okay, because W prime is a subspace of R of V, then uh, W prime should contain any linear combinations of S. Okay, S means a linear combination of all this, right? Any linear combination uh, is just an uh, addition and uh, scalar multiplication. What does this mean? <laughs> this means uh, any linear combination or all linear combination. Let me change this. All linear combination. And then see, all linear combination of S is just the span of S, right? So W prime contains uh, the span of S. The span of S is just uh, the W we define. So W should be a subset of W prime. So what do we get? We get a W equals the span of S should be a subset of uh, W prime. Yeah, see. Any subspace contains a W, so W is the smallest. So the smallest. So we say W is the smallest. Makes sense, right? Okay, so this is the second. That's the proof for the theorem. Thank you.